Step into the world of the billionaire blueprint, where the legendary John D. Rockefeller's wealth habits are not just tales of the past, but beacons guiding you to prosperity. His ascent from a modest oil refinery owner to the apex of the U.S. oil empire is a testament to his extraordinary vision and tenacity. Despite facing criticism for his unyielding capitalist tactics, Rockefeller's legacy endures through the lessons his life imparts. In this video, we distill the essence of his 25 most transformative strategies that propelled him to the zenith of financial triumph. Embark on this journey with us to master the disciplined routines and sharp insights that could forge your path to affluence. Don't forget to subscribe. You'll want to be part of this. Ever pondered the secret to success? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's dive into Rockefeller's enduring wealth habits. Let's get started with the first topic of Rockefeller's timeless wealth habits. Be your own leader. Rockefeller stands as a maestro of an orchestra, not of instruments, but of self-control and discipline. His story isn't just about wealth, but about the power of restraint and wisdom. Rockefeller's self-control was his superpower in the business world, a place riddled with temptations and impulsive traps. He didn't just resist, he outwitted them, thinking ahead like a chess master. His discipline was a practice, not punishment. He kept his books and principles tight, making bookkeeping an art form, treating each entry as a brushstroke on the canvas of commerce. Ironically, for a man synonymous with wealth, his true riches lay in his disciplined mind. Leadership for him meant whispering commands to oneself, navigating the soul's ship with precision, avoiding dangers and setting a path for others. Rockefeller's life teaches self-leadership, emphasizing that mastering oneself is the toughest challenge, but once achieved, it paves the way to greater dominions. To build empires, one must start with the empire within, for the most potent kingdom is the self. Moving forward to the next from the billionaire blueprint habits. Rockefeller's rise from humble beginnings to industrial giant showcases the power of persistence. It's not mere stubbornness, but a strategic, purposeful drive that turns obstacles into stepping stones. While some may argue that success depends on the right conditions, Rockefeller's life proves that an inner resolve to keep going is often the key to triumph. He once said, The quality of perseverance overcomes almost everything, even nature. This highlights the profound impact of persistence on success. Reflect on how incorporating Rockefeller's unwavering determination could reshape your approach to ambitions and hurdles. It's a reminder that the journey to greatness is a marathon of resilience. Habit 3. Cultivate Emotional Balance, the next topic from Rockefeller's Timeless Wealth Habits. Imagine navigating the high seas of business with the composure of a Zen master. That's emotional balance, and John D. Rockefeller was the captain of that ship. He sailed through storms of stress with the grace of a swan, making decisions with the clarity of a bell in the silence of dawn. Now let's sprinkle in some irony. Emotional balance in business is like being the only sober person at a wild party. You see the chaos, but you're not part of it. Some might call you a party pooper, but when the music stops, you're the one who walks away without a hangover. Rockefeller's story tells us that emotional balance isn't just about keeping your cool, it's about holding the reins of your personal chariot, even when the horses of passion are running wild. And then there's Anthony Weiner, who let's say texted his chariot into a ditch. His tale is a modern day fable of what happens when you let go of those reins. So how would mastering your inner emotional DJ affect your life's playlist? It's an open invitation to remix your reactions, to turn the volume down on drama and up on success. Because in the end, the most balanced emotion might just be the satisfaction of a life well lived. By the way, if you're enjoying the video so far and want more topics about Rockefellers, comment the word more so I know. All right, let's move on to the next subject from the billionaire blueprint. Master your ego. Mastering the ego is vital in a world where wealth can inflate self-importance. John D. Rockefeller, despite his riches, remained humble, viewing money as a means to impact society positively, not a status symbol. In an era where social media magnifies achievements, humility is often overshadowed. The term affluenza illustrates how wealth can erode empathy and moral judgment, underscoring the need for balance. Rockefeller's wealth was a tool for societal contribution, 
reflected in his philanthropy. He valued interpersonal skills over financial prowess, famously stating, the ability to deal with people is as purchasable a commodity as sugar or coffee, and I pay more for that ability than for any other under the sun. This mindset prompts us to consider our relationship with money and success. How do they shape our ego, and how can we remain humble in our ambitions? It's a call to remember that true worth lies not in wealth, but in our ability to connect and contribute to the world around us. Now, let's shift our attention to paying attention to details. In business, the devil is in the details is more than a saying. It's a lifeline. John D. Rockefeller's empire was built on a foundation of meticulous attention to detail. It wasn't just about avoiding errors. It was about cultivating a culture where excellence was the norm and every task was performed with precision. Neglecting this can have catastrophic effects. A missed contractual clause or deadline can lead to legal battles or tarnished reputations. Studies show that constant interruptions can fragment work, increase stress, and degrade quality, impacting customer trust and profits. Enhancing attention to detail could revolutionize your personal and professional life. It's about embracing vigilance and precision, ensuring that every step you take is measured and every decision well considered. It's a commitment to excellence that can set you apart and steer you towards success. Moving on to the next point, it is about finding your purpose beyond wealth from Rockefeller's timeless wealth habits. John D. Rockefeller, a paragon of success, saw wealth not as an end, but a means to greater ends. This view counters the money paradox, which posits that wealth doesn't ensure happiness or purpose. True fulfillment, research suggests, often stems from meaningful pursuits beyond financial gain. In a society fixated on wealth, this paradox is stark. The belief that money equals happiness ignores the nuanced interplay between wealth, joy, and fulfillment. Rockefeller's different path used wealth for growth, achievements, and philanthropy, seeking a deeper purpose. Affluenza exemplifies the dangers of wealth without balanced diminished empathy and moral judgment. Rockefeller's stance on wealth challenges us to use it for societal good, not just personal gain. Reflect on how your wealth quest aligns with your values and how you might find a purpose that transcends money. It's a call to leverage wealth for a broader impact, echoing Rockefeller's ethos. The only question with wealth is, what do you do with it? Habit seven, live prudently and modestly. John D. Rockefeller's legacy teaches us that living modestly isn't merely about frugality, it's a mindful philosophy of valuing meaningful experiences over material excess. His financial prudence wasn't just personal, it was a strategic move that fueled his business success and societal contributions. This lifestyle champions sustainability and psychological well-being, offering a counter-narrative to consumerism. It prompts us to reflect on our financial choices and their alignment with our values. Embracing this approach can enrich our lives and communities, positioning wealth as a tool for stewardship rather than mere accumulation. Now let's talk about how manage your business with numbers. Imagine if Rockefeller ran his business the way some of us manage our fantasy football teams, on a wing and a prayer, hoping the numbers will somehow work themselves out. But no, Rockefeller treated his company's finances like a master chess player, each dollar a strategic move on the board of industry. He didn't just have an in-depth understanding of his company's finances. He knew them like the back of his hand, probably better than he knew the names of his distant relatives. This wasn't just bookkeeping. It was a high-stakes game where the score wasn't kept in points, but in millions of dollars. While we might check our bank accounts with the same enthusiasm as reading the terms and conditions of a software update, Rockefeller read ledgers like they were gripping mystery novels, anticipating the plot twists of market fluctuations and the character development of his assets and liabilities. In the end, it wasn't just about having the numbers. It was about knowing them, understanding them, and making them dance to the tune of his business strategies. That's how you play the game of Monopoly in real life and aim to pass Go to collect your real-life $200. Now let's shift our attention to practicing constant discipline. Picture Rockefeller as the disciplined captain of a ship in the tumultuous sea of business. While others might have been content to drift along with the current, Rockefeller was the type to row fiercely against the tide. 
His discipline was the compass that kept him on course, no matter how stormy the waters got. Now imagine if he treated discipline like many treat their New Year's resolutions, enthusiastically adopted on January 1st and forgotten by January 2nd. Without his steadfast discipline, Rockefeller might have been just another businessman lost at sea, making excuses why the wind was never in his favor, while begrudgingly watching others sail past him to the island of success. But no, Rockefeller didn't just practice discipline, he lived and breathed it. It was his daily bread, the strict gym instructor of his soul, ensuring he never skipped a day of business fitness. While others were busy complaining about the success of their peers, Rockefeller was too occupied with his own journey, charting a course that many could only dream of following. In a world where I'll do it tomorrow is often the motto, Rockefeller's mantra was, I'm already on it. And that's the irony. The very discipline that seems to restrain us is often the wind in our sails that propels us forward, leaving the excuse makers in our wake, still waiting for the perfect weather. Next up, the art of impulse mastery from Rockefeller's wealth habits. Rockefeller is akin to resisting temptation in a candy store. Surrounded by enticing impulsive choices, Rockefeller opted for the metaphorical celery sticks of restraint, skillfully navigating his emotions like a sailor through a storm. Acknowledging that emotions can't be fully controlled but can be managed is a realistic view of the human condition. Rockefeller's approach promotes a balanced relationship with one's emotions, avoiding suppression or chaos. His strategy resembles a judo master, leveraging an opponent's momentum. Rather than fighting his emotions, Rockefeller channeled their energy to advance. This nuanced self-control acknowledges emotions as a force for positive action. In today's world, where impulses can lead to instant purchases or viral outbursts, Rockefeller's disciplined emotional management remains relevant. It's a lesson in self-governance essential for success. Rockefeller's impulse mastery wasn't about silencing emotions, but orchestrating them with wisdom. It's a strategic interplay between heart and mind, a dance to the rhythm of thoughtful decision-making. This is the essence of Rockefeller's blueprint for impulse control, a captivating narrative of self-discipline and wisdom. All right, guys, let's talk about taking strategic breaks, the next topic from Rockefeller's wealth habits. Imagine if J.D. Rockefeller, the titan of industry, treated breaks like many of us treat our phones, inseparable and constantly on. But no, even he, the man who seemed to have the Midas touch, knew the golden value of stepping away. Rockefeller didn't just take breaks, he took strategic breaks. It's as if he treated relaxation like a chess move, carefully planned and executed with precision. While the rest of us might feel guilty for pausing our hustle, Rockefeller saw it as a tactical retreat to recharge his batteries and sharpen his mind. He understood that sometimes, the best way to solve a problem isn't to keep banging your head against it, but to step back and let your subconscious do the heavy lifting. It's like letting dough rise. You don't stand there watching it. You walk away and come back to find it has transformed. So in a twist of irony, the man who could buy any luxury chose the simplest one. Time off. And in doing so, he found new perspectives that money couldn't buy, proving that sometimes the most productive thing you can do is nothing at all. Habit 12. See your life as a marathon. Imagine life as a marathon, not a sprint, and picture J.D. Rockefeller as the most patient runner you've ever seen. He's not the guy who sprints off the starting line only to collapse halfway. He's pacing himself, eyeing the finish line that's years away. Rockefeller knew that success is more like a slow cooker recipe than a microwave meal. It's not about the instant gratification of a quick win, but the slow, steady heat of long-term effort. While others are looking for the elevator to the top, Rockefeller was taking the stairs, two at a time, knowing that the real victory lies not in the speed, but in the stamina. So, while we're all binge-watching our favorite series, Rockefeller was binge-working on his empire, episode by episode, season by season. And in the grand irony of life, it's the marathon runners, not the sprinters, who take the gold, not quickly, but certainly. Let's unpack the concept of focusing on the crucial, a principle that was a cornerstone of Rockefeller's success. 
It's like being at a buffet and knowing that you can't possibly eat everything, although you might want to. So you focus on the dishes that you really love, or in Rockefeller's case, the tasks that really matter. This principle challenges the modern multitasking myth. It suggests that spreading oneself too thin is a recipe for mediocrity. By zeroing in on the crucial, Rockefeller reminds us that excellence is often a product of selectivity and concentrated effort. Concentrating on important tasks is akin to a gardener pruning a tree. It's about cutting back the branches that don't bear fruit to redirect energy to those that do. This approach is strategic and intentional, ensuring that every action has a purpose and contributes to the larger goal. From today's vantage point, the focus on the crucial mantra is a call to combat the constant noise of distractions. In an era of endless notifications and to-do lists, Rockefeller's strategy is a beacon of clarity, urging us to identify and commit to our priorities. In essence, the billionaire blueprint is all about focusing on the crucial, making the hard choices, saying no to the good to say yes to the great. It's about not just doing things right, but doing the right things. And that's a lesson in success that's as relevant now as it was in Rockefeller's time. Habit 14, let's talk about valuing your collaborators. Imagine the world's most influential figures as band members in the greatest supergroup of all time. Think of Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak as the Lennon and McCartney of technology, orchestrating the symphony of personal computers, or Marie Curie and Pierre Curie, the dynamic duo in the lab, radiating brilliance and Nobel prizes, like it's a hobby. Now, let's add a dash of irony. It's as if these iconic partnerships were formed not in boardrooms or labs, but over a casual game of charades. Hey, I've got an idea for a light bulb, says Edison, and Tesla replies, Great, I'll bring the electricity. These collaborations are the adult version of pairing up in a school project, where everyone actually does the work, and the result changes the world instead of just getting a gold star. They show us that when great minds come together, they don't just brainstorm. They create a storm that reshapes our reality. Next up, maintaining a consistent schedule is the next subject from Timeless Wealth Habits. Picture life as a grand orchestra and Rockefeller as the unflappable conductor. His baton, a consistent schedule. With the precision of a metronome, he orchestrated his days, ensuring each tick of the clock was a note played in perfect harmony. Rockefeller didn't just manage time, he composed symphonies with it. While the rest of us might hit the snooze button like we're swatting flies, Rockefeller was already up, tuning the strings of his empire. In a world where time slips through our fingers like sand, Rockefeller's discipline in time management was the hourglass that captured every grain. He showed us that life's tempo doesn't have to be adagio or allegro, but whatever rhythm keeps the music playing just right. Habit 16, making time for rest. Picture this, even a superhero needs to hang up their cape and kick back. Just like them, Rockefeller knew the secret power of hitting the pause button. It's like giving your brain a mini vacation to lounge on the beach of tranquility. By stepping away from the hustle, he plugged into the recharge station of relaxation, ensuring he was always ready for the next big adventure in the world of business. So remember to take a leaf out of his book and carve out your own slice of chill time. It's not just a break, it's a brain power boost. Now let's focus on overcoming your fears and think of Rockefeller as the ultimate daredevil of the business world, not the kind who leaps from planes, but one who jumps into the unknown with a parachute woven from his own confidence. He treated fear like a game of poker, bluffing his way through the high stakes with a handful of courage and a face that never flinched. When faced with towering challenges, he didn't see monsters to flee from, but mountains to climb. Each risk was a riddle, and he had all the answers tucked up his sleeve. So when life throws you a curveball, channel your inner Rockefeller. Stare down the pitch, swing with purpose, and knock your fears out of the park. Overcoming your fears is another secret from the billionaire blueprint. Next up, avoid vices. Stay away from harmful habits. Rockefeller, a titan of industry, exemplified the importance of eschewing vices for mental sharpness and longevity. Vices subtly undermine health, relationships, and finances, often with devastating consequences, as seen in the premature deaths of notable figures like King George II and Nat King Cole due to smoking 
and Billie Holiday and Amy Winehouse due to alcohol. Rockefeller's avoidance of such pitfalls was strategic, contributing to his industrial triumphs. His approach teaches us that shunning vices is an investment in our future selves, a form of risk management that favors long-term well-being over fleeting pleasure. Vices are the silent saboteurs of success, impacting everyone, including the talented. Rockefeller's disciplined choices, aligned with long-term goals, underscore the significance of foresight. His legacy serves as a reminder that the real price of vices is the squandered potential of the future, not just the temporary joys they provide. His lesson on self-control remains relevant, suggesting that to emulate his success, one must recognize that vices rob us of not only present happiness, but also future possibilities. Now let's discuss how to clearly define your goals as outlined in Rockefeller's Timeless Wealth Habits. Imagine you're the captain of a ship. You have a map, a compass, and a vast sea ahead. Without a clear destination, you could sail in circles or end up somewhere you never intended. That's why setting your goals is like charting a course. It gives you direction and purpose. John D. Rockefeller, a master navigator of business, once said, The secret of success is to do the common things uncommonly well. This quote encapsulates the essence of goal setting. It's about taking the ordinary a dream, a wish, a desire, and pursuing it with extraordinary dedication and precision. So when you clearly define your goals, you're not just deciding where you want to go. You're committing to the journey, preparing to face storms and navigate through uncharted waters, all the while keeping your eyes on the prize. It's about making the common goal of success an uncommon reality through unwavering focus and effort. Now, let's turn our focus to Thinking big. Rockefeller always strived for the next level of success, never settling for mediocrity. Picture yourself as a painter with a canvas that stretches as far as the eye can see. You could fill it with small, timid strokes, or you could use bold, sweeping colors to create something grand and awe-inspiring. That's what it means to think big to paint your life's masterpiece with broad, daring strokes. Rockefeller, a man who painted his own canvas with such ambition once said, don't be afraid to give up the good to go for the great. This quote reflects the essence of thinking big. It's about not settling for a sketch when you can create a masterpiece. It's about not just reaching for the stars, but aiming to own a piece of the sky. So unleash your inner Rockefeller discard the mediocre and reach for the magnificent. Habit 21. Always give your utmost effort. Imagine you're in a vast forest, aiming to reach the majestic mountain peeking through the trees. The journey is long, the path is rough, and the obstacles are many. But with every step, with every ounce of effort, you move closer to that peak. This is the essence of giving your utmost effort. Every bit of hard work brings you closer to your goal, just as every step takes you closer to the mountaintop. John D. Rockefeller, a man who climbed many mountains in his lifetime, once started as a humble bookkeeper. He didn't just work hard, he worked smart. He saw the potential in the oil industry and poured his energy into building what would become the largest oil refinery in the area by the age of 24. His relentless effort didn't stop at refining oil. He revolutionized the entire industry, from production to transportation, ensuring his standard oil company dominated the market. Rockefeller's story teaches us that hard work is more than just sweat and time. It's about giving your all to every task, seizing opportunities, and pushing boundaries. It's about not just climbing the mountain, but reshaping the landscape itself. The next topic from Rockefeller's Timeless Wealth Habits is to listen more and speak less. Imagine you're at the helm of a grand orchestra. Each instrument plays a vital role, and as the conductor, you must listen intently to each note, each pause, to create a symphony that resonates with harmony. This is akin to Rockefeller's approach to leadership. He knew that to lead effectively, one must listen more and speak less. Rockefeller's keen observation and active listening were instrumental in his success. He would often sit quietly in meetings, absorbing every word, every detail, before making a decision. An example of this was his strategic move in the oil industry. By carefully observing market trends and listening to experts, he capitalized on the commercial potential of oil. 
His ability to listen and observe led to the creation of Standard Oil, which dominated the industry. Rockefeller once said, The ability to deal with people is as purchasable a commodity as sugar or coffee, and I pay more for that ability than for any other under the sun. This quote underscores the value he placed on listening, a skill that turned information into insight and insight into an empire. Habit 23. Practice patience and persistence. Picture success as a shy cat in a game of hide and seek. You know it's around, but the moment you make a sudden move, it darts away. Rockefeller understood this game well. He knew that to win over success, much like befriending a wary cat, one must be patient and persistent. There's an ironic twist to Rockefeller's pursuit of success. He was patient, yet his empire grew at a pace that seemed anything but slow. He was persistent, yet he made it look effortless, as if success just couldn't resist his charm. It's like waiting for a kettle to boil, and somehow, without constant watching, it sings its readiness just when you turn away. Rockefeller's strategy was akin to planting a tree. He planted the seeds of his ventures and tended them with care, knowing well that he might never rest in their shade, yet believing in the fruits they would bear for the future. His patience was not passive. It was an active, strategic waiting game where time was not an enemy but an ally. So remember, success might play hard to get, but with patience and persistence, you'll have it purring in your lap, wondering why it ever hid from you in the first place. Now let's delve into the unpredictable seas of times of crisis as we explore our next point on Rockefeller's timeless wealth habits. Picture this, you're the captain of a ship in the midst of a storm. The waves are towering, the wind is howling, but you stand firm at the wheel, guiding your vessel through the tempest with a steady hand. This is how John D. Rockefeller navigated the rough seas of business crises calmly and with unwavering resolve. During the volatile early days of the oil industry, when prices swung wildly, Rockefeller faced a crisis that threatened to sink his entire fortune. Instead of panicking, he saw an opportunity in the chaos. He meticulously studied the market and, with a clear vision, formed the Standard Oil Company, setting an audacious goal to refine all the oil and make all the barrels. His calm in the face of crisis allowed him to buy up rival companies at bargain prices and consolidate his control over the industry. Rockefeller's example teaches us that in times of crisis, keeping calm allows us to see the opportunities that panic obscures. It's about having the serenity to weather the storm and the determination to sail through it, reaching calmer waters and brighter horizons. Habit 25. Love what you do. Imagine your work is not just a job, but a canvas for your passion, each task a stroke of paint that brings your masterpiece to life. This was how John D. Rockefeller approached his work, turning the oil industry into his canvas, painting a legacy that would last for centuries. Rockefeller didn't just work in the oil business, he loved it. He saw beyond the black gold's immediate value, envisioning a world transformed by energy. His passion led him to innovate, to refine, and to expand, until Standard Oil wasn't just a company, it was the company. He once said, I always tried to turn every disaster into an opportunity. He loved his work so much that even in the face of setbacks, he found new paths to success. When others saw obstacles, Rockefeller saw opportunities to paint his canvas even more boldly. So, love what you do, and do it with passion. Let your work be the art that you craft every day. And like Rockefeller, you may find that success is not just possible, it's inevitable. And there you have it, my friends. 25 of the most transformative strategies and timeless wealth habits that propelled the Rockefellers to the pinnacle of financial success from Rockefeller's billionaire blueprint. His legacy is an inspiration for those who aspire to achieve great accomplishments in their lives. By adopting these keys to success, we can chart our own path to prosperity. Absolutely. Rockefeller's legacy serves as a powerful reminder of the impact determination, hard work, and strategic thinking can have on one's success. By embracing these keys to success, we can indeed pave our way towards achieving remarkable accomplishments and prosperity in our own lives. Let Rockefeller's story motivate and guide us on our journey to greatness. Now, if you want to learn seven secrets from Rockefeller to make your money work for you, I recommend watching this video next. Optionally, 
You can access the video by clicking the link below. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you found this video informative and exciting. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more wealth building content. Until next, happy financial journey.